Hi everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be doing a brand spotlight on the brand Black Means. Um, I had a couple questions and comments on my leather jacket from the last video, so I decided to make a brand spotlight and overview about Black Means and kind of show the couple other accessories that I have from the brand. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Just a quick disclaimer, I don't proclaim to be some sort of expert in black means and I really don't own too many items by the brand, but I do like the aesthetic and I would definitely love to learn more and would own more pieces if they were more accessible over here in the States. I just wanted to share my experiences with the pieces I do own and my research that I've done about the brand. The name black means actually comes from the word burakumi, which refers to a outcast social class of leather workers in feudal Japan. The brand likes to mix tribal and vintage styles with Japanese punk. Currently, Black Means is most notable and known for their leather jackets and their leather accessories. So with their signature punk and tribal motifs and DIY style, handmade craftsmanship, they've really come to represent the Japanese punk and leather scene. And since 2008, Black Means has maintained relative obscurity within the fashion world with limited stockists outside of Japan, uh, as well as really limited online retail presence. Not to mention that their workshop based in the outskirts of Tokyo is only open for four hours uh, on the weekdays and six hours on the weekends. So the quantity that they're producing is just really limited as well. I watched an interview with Yujiro, one of the founders of Black Means, and he was saying how he tends not to carry anything in his hands or um, doesn't like to carry any bags, so he prefers to carry things on his hips, um, which led to the creation of this coin wallet here. After wearing it for a few months, I really do think it's pretty convenient, especially when I was traveling in Japan. The Japanese currency system uses a lot of coins, and so wherever you go, you'll probably be um, handed a lot of coins and using a lot of coins. So uh, it was really useful, actually, a lot more useful than I thought it would be. The lighter case actually comes with a Black Means custom Bic. Um, unfortunately, it was taken away from me at customs because you can't bring lighters onto planes, so I was forced to throw it away. Initially, when I first got the coin purse and the lighter, I was pretty concerned that they would weigh my pants down and, you know, actively feel them all the time. But luckily, you actually don't feel them even without a belt oftentimes would forget that they're there when I was wearing them. So I wouldn't be too worried or concerned that they would weigh your pants down or drag them down. And this jacket is a size seven, which I do believe is a size that was custom ordered. And even when I was in Japan, the biggest sizes they had were a size 5 or maybe 6 if I was lucky. And I've never seen a 7 until I stumbled upon this one. So, uh, Luckily, size 7 fits me pretty well, just the way I want. A little bit oversized with room for a hoodie if I want. Um, I don't really like my jackets to fit super trooper tight, especially a leather jacket. Which I know some people like, but it's just not for me. Custom heavy duty brass YKK zippers. Um, really heavy duty. Uh, kind of hard to zip, honestly, because of how heavy they are. Um, the zipper track is also very, very heavy duty. Super thick Japanese tan leather and custom brass hardware. Ooh! Here are some of the Black Means pieces that I find really interesting or I just wanted to showcase. Um, this 
black means mini slapper coin case so it's actually a coin case on the back you can put coins and then you can kind of like slap it um <laughs> I thought this was really you know, quirky and kind of shows the brand's character. Also this banana holder, um, kind of like a sword sheath, but you know, for, I, I honestly, if I could find this, that I would get this 100%. <laughs> um, I love bananas. This hand carved leather lighter case. I've actually seen this in the stores. It's just too way too expensive. <laughs> Otherwise I would have gotten this one. This black means water bottle holder, <laughs> really punk. This distressed shredded denim, kind of like, um, has the same vibe as the undercover, you know, arts and crafts denim. Um, these leather pants, still on sale, on ground actually. Hand carved leather coin pouch. So in my opinion, black means is a really cool brand that tries to embody the punk mindset and does it through a Japanese framework. Um, there's a lot of really cool and out there pieces, you know, a lot of studs on some of their jackets. Um, the stuff I own is pretty basic, so it's, I guess it's not completely representative of uh, the brand as a whole. What's great about Black Means is that each piece is handmade and stitched by a single craftsman individually, so you'll know from start to finish that one person was working on it. The Japanese obsession with craftsmanship and attention to detail combined with the unique styling and culture behind Black Means really makes this brand unique. I also really like Black Means' fun and quirky side. Just take a look at the colorful coin pouches and the knuckle lighter cases. There are a few problems with the brand, I would say. Um, number one, the first problem is that there's a lack of sizing. Black Means runs really, really small. Um, for instance, in most other Japanese brands, I would I might be a three or a four, um, but for example, the, the jacket I own is a size seven. Um, so it could be pretty problematic if you're a taller or a bigger guy. Um, it could be really hard to find the right clothing sizes for you. Um, their clothes also are quite pricey um, especially outside of Japan. Um, and not only that, the prices are probably double than what you would pay in Japan, which is um, not ideal. My biggest recommendation if you're really interested in getting your hands on some Black Means items, whether that be accessories or clothing, um, is to really pay attention to Yahoo Auctions, Mercari Japan, and Rakuten Japan. Um, those are probably where you'll find the most selection and the best prices. Um, so let me know if you guys would like to see a video detailing how to get your hands on these items and um, how to scour the internet uh, to find the best deals on this type of clothing because it could probably save you 50% um, or 60% or more. So thanks guys for watching the video. Let me know if you liked it. Comment down below. Uh, leave your thoughts. Subscribe if you uh, want to stay tuned for more content like this. Thanks for watching.